What is up, everyone? Welcome to another Bitcoin market update. I'm repping Bitcoin today with the old Bitcoin hoodie. So let's dive into corn. We're looking at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. And what we're seeing here is a decrease in bull volume. The bulls will need to show us an increase as they saw last week, a slight uptick in bull volume. They're going to need to show us a significant push up here with bull volume for me to be convinced that this rise up in price on these two uh, past weeks is going to continue. We have a decrease in, I'm sorry, we had a bearish divergence on the RSI on the weekly time frame. We came down. We have since went up. But if we do come below the uh, previous week's low here, down at 49.316 on this exchange, we will uh, make another uh, we will make another lower high on the RSI, which will be another bearish divergence on the weekly time frame. Let's go to the daily time frame and see what we're dealing with here. So on the daily time frame, we have made a higher low in comparison to right here. And we have been trending bullishly on the daily time frame. So uh, it is not a surprise that we set a higher low right here. We are now currently trading up from there. We're at about $57,900. Let's look at the support levels that we're dealing with here. So on the daily time frame, we have this support level down here, which is at about 51,785. And then we also have this little guy right here, which if we pull that across, that is also a support level for this range coming from 52 five down to about 50,800. Now, what are the resistance levels? Well, we had a trade that we talked about yesterday, which was this gray zone right here. And I talked about how I was going to short this zone because we had this confluent area here where the price made a low, high, higher low, higher high. This should have acted as support right here when the price came into it, but it did not. It closed two candles below it, so a retest of that level right into the uh, hourly pivot level right here, rejected off for a solid uh, almost 5%. So that was a good trade there. And uh, since we have this extremely bullish 12-hour candle with an increase in bull volume, and we are also seeing a 12-hour hidden bullish divergence with a higher low in price, but a lower low in the RSI. That's very good for the bulls case if they end up closing above this high right here that we set right here with the black candle on this 12 hour candle and we get one more 12 hour candle close above that. I will look to long a retest of this black candle. We will see if we end up getting that over the next coming days. But that is the level to watch this gray zone if we end up closing two candles above that that's also a good support level and we are currently trading up from there the way i kind of handled the trade here was i shorted it took profits when we were down here and then as i saw in the eight hour this uh rsi starting to show a hidden bullish divergence with a higher low and a lower loan price I said, well, I'm going to move my stop loss down from the top of this gray to the top of this eight hour candle, because if we break that, then we are going to go above this high. And that is exactly what we did. And we have since we would I would have got stopped out up here. But luckily, I had my move my stop loss into profit, which is a good way to manage any trade that you're in. Once it goes your way, like it did right here, we can take some profits down here, move our stop loss into profit. And then if we get stopped out, it's fine because we still got stopped out in profit. So that's how I managed that trade. That is currently the levels to watch. One other last level to watch, folks, is this four hour level right here. Now, I personally am not gonna be shorting this level just because it is not consistent with my strategy to short a level when we are seeing a bullish trend on the weekly, daily, and uh, 12 hour time frame um, and you know eight hour time frame as well so uh, it does it for me it, it, it's not a good idea for me to short this even if we do get a rejection here which we might um, I personally am not going to be shorting that level 
Um, I am a trend trader, so I'm looking for where the momentum is going. And right now, the bulls are trying to change the momentum on the 12 hour time frame here back to bullish after going below this uh, low. So we'll see what happens. But if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for future educational content on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Until then, onward and upward.